Hey guys, so I was getting a few things ready for Halloween. And I bought this little ghost. It's only like seven bucks. But a wire came loose in it. And it quit working right after I got it. And instead of throwing it away or going all the trouble taking it back, I could either solder the wire back onto the switch and get it to work. Let me see. See, it just lights up all day. There's two double A's in here. Or then I realized, well, it's going to have two AA batteries in it. If this is worn 24-7, because I'm not going to remember to turn it off every day. And your batteries might last a week, if that. It's going to be one for at least two or three weeks. So I was thinking, why not convert it to a power supply? Just eliminate the batteries. And that's a term that used to be popular with a lot of things. It was a battery eliminator. So that's what we're going to do today. It's basically, there's a couple different ways you can do this. The main thing you're going to need is a power supply. And it depends on the voltage of it. This is two double A's, so it's going to put out three volts DC. So this is a three volts DC power supply. Uh, got this off Amazon for like five bucks. I already had this. This is a plug that this uh, will plug into like this. This is actually, honestly, optional. You could just as well cut the plug, drill a hole in there and feed it in and just hardwire it. I like the flexibility of being able to use the power supply on something else. I have a couple other Christmas decorations that's going to use the same thing. So this will be used between Halloween and Christmas stuff. With that being said, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. The um, main thing you got to realize, main thing you got to figure out is which two wires, which two pins will hook on here. And with this one, the big long one is the hot. This one right here is the neutral or ground plus and minus so I got to figure out which one goes which this is the hot wire coming out of the battery box if for whatever reason they put a switch on the neutral I already drilled a hole to mount this in so you just gotta make sure you got room for it and everything the only bad thing is the batteries add a little bit of weight to the bottom so that's going to take away from that I probably just leave the batteries in it just to unhook it just so it's got a little bit of weight in the bottom so let me do the basic setup on this and we'll look at it and show you what I do. Alright, so it's already set up. It's working. You still have a functional switch, which is also optional. You can hook the two wires directly up to the light. In this case, it's LED, so if you hook it all up and it don't work, you're just going to have to switch your positive and neutral around and it should start working. Unless there's some other wire loose or something somewhere else. So you see the two wires soldered to that jack. That's going to depend on how yours is set up or if you just drill a hole and run the wire through. That's up to you. I just kind of like doing it like this. And on this one, I had to put it on the same side. I was going to put it down here. But the way this is made, it's got a bigger space from one side. So it wasn't going to work like that. So now it's set up to run continuous off of house power. Another thing, this don't use hardly no power at all. Very low milliamps. But this power supply is rated for one amp. But don't pay too much attention to that because that just means that you can pull a maximum of one amp out of it not so much that it's going to overpower this because Ohm's law was only going to allow this, a circuit to pull so much wattage it don't really amperage it don't depend so much on the power supply rating that just means that this is capable of powering up to one amp at three volts so just remember that so basically the two wires that go to your power source your batteries are just unhooked and ran straight over to your jack on here where this plugs in or if you hook it straight up to the wires it'll work so now it can run continuous so I have to worry about going through a hundred million batteries just went up. and this was putting out about 3.1 volts I believe it was with two new batteries and this was putting out 3.3 it's close enough it does not have to be perfect so I just want to put this together and so I might help somebody out on um, converting something to uh, permanent power. Now if you want something portable keep it with the uh, batteries or if it ain't going to be used all the time it's up to you. But, so now Ghost is ready to go. <laughs> so Thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next video. Just thought this might make a nice little video to help somebody out that's trying to hardwire some Christmas decorations. So, Alright thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next video.